Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we were needing to talk to Modesi. Greetings. I've been friend. mispronouncing it Could this I whole time. You in some I thought jewelry. it was Modesi. Uh, I have a mammoth tusk for you, Modesi. Ivory from this tusk will be perfect for the inlay on my amulets. Modesi. Okay. And a chunk of gold ore. Perfect. Melting this down will give me plenty of gold for those necklaces I started. Awesome sauce. There we go. Safe travels, Landstriker. Now all we need to do is get the uh, flawless sapphires for him. Yeah, I'm aware. You've told me this a couple dozen times now. And uh, now I have to head home because we have the uh, dragon bones in tow with us. So we might as well get that done and over with right now. Getting water. Been a little thirsty lately. And I don't mean... Well, yeah, I do kind of mean... <laughs> Shut up! Successfully bashing with either a shield or weapon will always stagger an opponent. Well, yeah. We've learned that so far. Because it does that to me a lot. There we go. And now, oh, it's all regrown too. Cool. Now we can use all this stuff. I make way too many potions, I know, but it, it's necessary. It's necessary for me to survive in this horrid wasteland. I kid, it's not that bad. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Let me tell you. Oh, there are two different pickaxes. Oh. Okay, so I had more pickaxes than I thought I did. I thought I had just four. I actually have five. And that's not including the one I'm carrying. So hey, cool on me. I'll never run out of pickaxes again. Pickaxes. Pickaxes. Oh. <sighs> if only I was drunk, then I'd have that excuse. That frame rate went bleh. Okay. Put that here, yep, and all those. Is there anything else? Yeah, all of this, all of this, for future making of things. And let's go to the leather. Hey, some of my stuff is here. Oh, well, all of my stuff is here. Finally, let's get all this going. There we go. All right couple more of these and I'll be good and I'll just make a bunch of leather helmets oh yeah everything's here cool just hit the anvil back here and leather helmets let's make a bunch of these ah man oh man oh man run through all my leather just like that and yeah there we go I had a feeling we had some of that I need that. Um, which one would be better? Yeah, that would be a better use of my time. And... What is it? Yeah, Ruby. Make all these up. And how many... I have a lot of those, but the Amethyst is slightly higher. And there. There we go. All done. And I can just enchant them a little bit. And I'll do that a little... Man, I should do that now. Because <laughs> if you don't do it now, then I will forget. And I will look like an idiot in front of all of you guys. And that's the last thing I want to do. Today. <laughs> Later, maybe. Maybe I want to look like an idiot. But today, no. It's not the plan. All right, let's do common soul gem on that one. And on this one. Whoop. Forgot. What if I carry away? And... Uh, I'm running out of... <laughs> I'm running out of the common soul gems. I used a lot more of them than I wanted to. Uh, let's use petty on a lot of these. Because I have plenty of those. They're easy to get. 
and it's easy to get more later on. Yep. And there. And it's easier when you're doing it on rings because then you can just do this over and over and over again. There we go. And it's a really faster way to get it all done. And there. I'm almost burning through all of them. And look at that enchantment keep going up. Good lord. That's the stuff we like to see. And I think we're good on that. Alright. There's supposed to be a mannequin over here. Uh, might not have been bought and spawned in yet. And we'll make a couple more potions. And... Okay. Pretty much got all those down and good. Let's... I don't want to waste all of those, so we'll use that. Um... I don't really need to do that. Let's quit alchemy. Drop out of alchemy class. Alright. <laughs> and we'll make a few more foodie things. If we can. Foodie, foodie, foodie. Uh, need more venison. Do I have venison in that chest? I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, come on. My, uh, my controller was just uh, deciding not to work there for a second. Alright, uh, yeah, I didn't have any more venison, so... Venison. Yeah. So, we'll just move on. And, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Ebony boots. I might enchant them. In fact, I should. I should enchant them right now. What do you mean, my thing? I shouldn't be down an enchantment just because, you know... <clears throat> I, I was thinking there for a second. Sorry, my brain is a little slow this morning. There we go. And 29. What? What? Okay, what in the... Okay, I have it in skills. And, yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, I had already done this one. Okay. And smithing is getting there, but not close enough. So we'll put that there for now. And now we'll do this again. <laughs> and this time it should be better. If I'm lucky and smart, which sometimes I'm not. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool beans. That is all good. And now we have an even stronger enchantment, which actually is stronger than the necklace I have right now. Yeah, it is. Oh, that was a weird glitchy glitch. And this one is actually going to be weaker. I'll, I'll fix all that when I get, you know, get the new gear. Which may take a while, but hey, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it! Alright. Attacks can be blocked with either a shield or a weapon, but shields are much more effective. Yeah, as you can tell by this guy. Damn, look at him. Fucking got all of that. The Dwarven armor set does look pretty good. I mean, eh. I mean, it could look better. I mean, it does... Eh. It depends on taste. Eh. You know. You know, you know what I mean. Okay. That was a... Uh, just checking my phone. I had gotten an email from Gmail. <laughs> uh, it was basically sent to my phone. Anyway, let's see what we had to do next. Um, I think what we really had to do is not that. Uh, we had to go back to Dawnguard. That's right. I have to go back to the Dawn Guard. 
for all of that stuff. And there we go. I was trying to think if I was forgetting anything. And I wasn't. I'm good. An arcane enchanter can be used to learn new enchantment weapons and armor. I'm experimented on and destroyed in the process. So be careful, kids. There we go. Now we get to see how it looks in all its new splendor. Oop, let's pop the crossbow. So there might be deer around that I can hunt down and miss three times. Like I did in the last episode when I tried to pull this stuff. Oh, Lunar Moth. Lunar, lunar, lunar Moth. Need them. Okay, cool. I don't need a mountain flower. I need the torch bug. God damn it. Phase it in the ground. Motherfucker. I hate when that happens. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one. Damn it! <laughs> I was right on it! You motherfucking motherfucker. Okay. God damn it. It's you, Firebolt. Fuck it. That'll kill it. Anyway. Was it wasn't seriously just standing there like nothing happened? Well, that's a thing, I guess. Alright. Well, I wasted a few steel bolts for nothing. And... Lunar Moth, Lunar Moth, come here. There we go. And other bug. Got him like my own cat. Jesus Christ. What am I doing? I did not even know there was a cave over here. Mossy Glen Cave? Was that... We'll explore that in a future episode. <laughs> That's going to happen. For now, we got to get this... Whole thing over and done with with da ba da ba da. Uh, Isran, Sorin, and your uh, Gunmar. Yeah. Hey, look at this! They're all defended up and whatnot. They really fortified their defenses. That's just out here. Cool beans. And once again, it wasn't let me pull that out with my. Uh, usual stuff. Uh, pop back to the crossbow. Maybe it'll let me? No. No, it will not. Okay. My game's being weird again. Are they the same ones that we killed earlier, or are they just... Yeah, they're the same ones we killed earlier. Because I remember <laughs> I flung that one <laughs> between the rocks. Yeah. Yeah, it's still not letting me attack. This is weird. Okay. I'm able to draw and sheath. That's the word. But I was not able to attack with him. Which makes sense over here, but... Eh. I just don't like it. I don't like it when things screw up like that. <clears throat> anyway. Let's pop this on. All right, Isran. You've got us all here. Now, what do you want? Hold it right there. Uh. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. Okay. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's me? go have a little chat with you, shall we? Vampire for me? What? You're not kidding. What the hell is he talking about a vampire? What? 
There we go. Okay, I guess he's gonna take me to her. Hey, Serana! Hey, gorgeous! You probably weren't doing? expecting to see me. Vampire showed up while you were away. Uh. I'm guessing it's the one you found in Dim Hollow Crypt. Says it's got something really important to say. You have to keep doing it. So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Okay. Well, it's about me and uh, the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. Like the one that's still on your back? What about you? The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll. It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. Hmm. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. That'll happen. What do you mean, lost himself? He just became absorbed. Obsessed. He was kind of sick, actually. The prophecy said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. For someone who fancied himself as vampire royalty, that's pretty seductive. You're not wrong. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. Uh... Wait, your mother did that to you? This whole family just messed up. You took a big risk coming here. I did. But something about you makes me think I can trust you. I hope I'm not wrong. You're not. We just have to convince the others you're on our side. Well, let's move then. I'm nothing if not persuasive. I bet. He's run. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now mm -hmm. tell me. She's right is there. Is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? She is right fucking there. Set your hatred aside and try to see the larger picture, Ezron. Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. Uh, why did I think that was going to work? I'm a Sith. I know that won't work. <sighs> You don't know her. You don't trust her. Fine. Trust me. I believe her. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. She, but if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, she, I'll hold you responsible. Got it? I got you it. Hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do... Your friend here is going to pay for it. Dude. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back... Oh, I noticed. I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. Mm -hmm. But, of course, neither of us can read it. I've read the dragon one before. Who can? Well... The moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Okay. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No. And I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind. And I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Okay. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. Mm. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. So it was around that long? about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I'm uh -huh. really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Who can blame you? So what do you know about Elder Scrolls? I mean, as much as anyone. 
Not a lot. Yeah. You'd figure a couple hundred years I barely know anything. One would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. I guess we'll just have to keep looking for that moth priest then. I guess so. <laughs> that is that is an option you have to do, otherwise you kind of ruin a little thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to pick up a couple things around here. I think there's more than a few. Yeah. And, yeah, I think that's all good. And I think we'll end the episode right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.